Mike Bowers and I'm photographer at large for The Guardian Australia. I'm talking pictures this morning with writer and comedian Alex Lee and a very warm welcome. Hey Mike. Alex, from fighting Tories to clifftop glory, the Prime Minister's bought himself a retirement pile. Is this much ado about nothing, do you think? Oh, I mean, it's just such a confluence of a few things that will make it hard to go away. I mean, I think that just the sheer sort of splendidness of the house is, is a hard yeah. visual to get yeah, away yeah, from. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. I, I think there's a lot of people who do aspire to have their own little house. Pile? In. Yeah. The wonderful Brett Lethbridge cartoon, Stockholm Syndrome, <laughs> very good. which is very clever. He said, I've decided the best way to fight Tories is to become one of yeah, them. Yeah, well, that's right. Can't beat him, join him. That's right. David Rowe um, has, has got larshy blows with, with duck <laughs> yeah. sort of surfacing offshore like a breach. Yeah, I thought it might be a duckberg. <laughs> the good more, ship elbow might there, run aground there, into. There's a much more below the surface. Oh, there always like is. A, the view was better on the first viewing with Jim sort of yeah. looking over. It's like, <laughs> sea change. Not enjoying his sleepover. <laughs> it's a uh, wonderful Dean Alston from the West Australian yeah. cartoon. And yeah. right there is how on the corner of Beach and Struggle Street. <laughs> Clippity cloppity, look who's got property at the Copa Copacabana. The hardest spot north of Canberra. <laughs> at the Copa Copacabana. Where to Bob each way is the law of the day at the, the Copa. Copa. He was in love. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I love the Birkenstocks as well. I, I mean, that, that is a Marrickville uniform and I'm glad he's, he's bringing a bit of that. <laughs> up to the central coast. <laughs> Peter Brolman, I don't hold a tenancy agreement, mate. Obviously drawing parallels with um, Scott Morrison's yeah. Hawaii. I mean, at least he hasn't pretended that he hasn't bought the house. Yeah, that's he. right. <laughs> I think Matt Golding has hit the nail on the head. Amazing views, um, yeah, crap optics, yeah, basically. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's, uh... And I love I love the little ex expression there he's got on Jody. He's very <laughs> happy with her new home. <laughs> She's moving back there. to the sunny coast. That's yeah. right. I mean, you know, you can't take the girl out no, of the sunny coast. that's right. I did love this comment by John Kadelka about uh, sea level rises. Yeah. <laughs> Forget the optics for a moment. I'm trying to work out how much more gas we can get away with exporting before this becomes sea level. Just such a great way of bringing together uh, all, those things, all those issues. Yeah. Given this cartoon, Malcolm Turnbull might be stuffed, right? His, his harbour side's right Oh, that's water. right. Maybe we'll get a, a bargain house when <laughs> they all start offloading there. Harborside property. <laughs> Alex, this week marked the anniversary of the voice referendum, but um, for the yes side, it wasn't a very happy anniversary. For, for me, I think it was just a, a time to reflect on how little we've managed to do in this area and how it's just sort of been ignored, it feels yeah. like, in the year since. Yeah, it's really almost like, oh, we've done that. Yeah, yeah. Lovely Kathy Wilcox here, Alex. Albo here sort of trying to avoid looking at a, a failed legacy. Yeah. Instead of voice, he has void. Void, mistreaty and mistruth, really. Mm. Ended up looking very pleased with himself yeah. here. Matt Golding moving things forward as he sees the voice to parliament as the falling dominoes <laughs> yeah. and the bipartisanship sort of dead. Yeah. About to go over. Elbows setting it up as yeah. this really horrible sort of skin covered domino what, what of Dutton is about to knock it down. I mean, this is the, this is the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> Alan Moyer sees uh, um, Peter Dutton as, as he's in with a chance, camping out, sort of getting ready to measure the curtains yeah, of the lodge. that's right. Yeah. He's, just, he's still there. He's still there. He's trying to work out his squatter's rights. <laughs> and his little suitcase there says, yeah, the yeah. lodge or bust. Yeah. I just thought this was a beautiful David Rowe cartoon, yes. the anniversary. Pete's having his cake and uh, eating it. Do you think he's making a wish as he blows out the candle? Oh, I think so. Yeah. And I, I don't think it's wishing well upon his uh, opposition. Alex, it's been a great pleasure unpicking events this week. I'll, I'll let you do the honours. Back to you, David.